Next question is from Keegan R. How often should I be doing mobility work for each body part? I have multiple areas hindering my lifts, but find it hard to spend the time needed each day. Yeah, the best way to approach, first of all, let's think of the goal with mobility training. The number one goal with mobility training is to improve your coordination and connection to ranges of motion. Yeah. Okay, The goal is not to build muscle. The goal is not necessarily to get uh, crazy strength gains. Now, more mobility leads to building more muscle and more strength gains. But the goal of mobility training is not the same as when you're lifting weights. The goal is to connect. And the best results you get from connecting is frequent practice, frequent short practice. So in other words, 30-minute mobility session is not going to be as effective as five, 10 minute, you know, uh, or five, five minute mobility sessions, I should say, or something yeah. like that, or five, six minute. And it's know. such an individual uh, dependence on, so if it's impeding on like specific lifts, like your technique, uh, I can't like hold my shoulders in that position for very long. My knees are always buckling out. Things like that, it, it really, you know, it. I would say that it is a priority. It's something now that you do need to consider long term. If you don't address it, the more load and stress you apply to your joints that are, you know, not in a, in a favorable position uh, where they're supposed to be, uh, you know, you're you're going to suffer the consequences of that. So it's really up to, you know, assessing which ones are the, the the biggest offenders. And I would focus my attention more on the the three or four exercises that will really help to you know address those specific issues you have in in terms of not being able to hold yourself in a specific posture to pr to, to, to promote those types of movements we I feel like we get this question a lot I get this a lot in my DMs too I don't know if you guys get this a lot I do uh, a ton maybe because I talk about mobility a lot on my Instagram mm -hmm. and people are always looking for like a prescription for me like tell me how many times I need to do this or how many times I should do that and it's this is a really hard one, and I think Justin, you you hit it uh, on the head really well, which is you look at what the, the 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 greatest offenders are first. Like what is what is hindering you know whether it be your squat or your deadlift or your overhead press, whatever movement that you're trying to get better at. What is the greatest offender? Is it your ankle mobility? Is it your hip mobility? Is it your ability to retract your shoulders? Is it your forward head? I mean, all those things are probably issues for most people. It's very common. It's very common for people to lack ankle mobility. It's very common for people to lack hip mobility, shoulder mobility, to have this excessive forward head. Those are all very, very common. So it's like, okay, where do I start? Well, you know, I personally, I started with my ankle and my hips. Like that was, I was trying to improve my squat, the, the grossest offenders on there, even though I had, you know, forward shoulder and a slight forward head, and that is an offender too. The, gr the greatest offender was my ankle and hips. My ankle and hips was not allowing me to get depth in my squat. And so that I just kind of hammered those like crazy. That was the one. And, and for me, it's all about, it's trying to create th this as a habit in my daily routine. It's not like, oh, programming it where, and we did this in Prime and Prime Pro for people to to make it easier for them so that we teach them how to pr uh, program it uh, in those programs. But really, it's just, it's about repetition. It's trying yeah. to do it as much as you possibly can. As you, frequently as possible. Yeah, my recommendation is to go through something like Prime Pro and you pick out one or two joints that you really want to improve the mobility or that's the greatest offenders. And you and all day long, you just you know get down in that combat stretch all day long. Get down in those 90-90s. I mean, you're trying to do it like Sal was saying. You know, five five minute times is far far better than you doing this one long session of it. You're trying to get as frequent as possible, and and, and then you address the next joint. Yeah. And, and the, the best way to, the best way to do this is to inject it into your regular day. So let's say mm -hmm. at night you watch TV uh, with your spouse or whatever. Okay, while you're watching TV get into mobility positions or every morning and every night you brush your teeth. Mm -hmm. Okay. While brushing my teeth, I do this mobility move with my ankle or, uh, after dinner or when I'm washing dishes, if you inject it throughout the day with your normal routine, you'll be, you'll do a very good job of being frequent and you'll see really rapid results. If you try to structure it and schedule it like a workout, it's not going to work as well.